Let's, uh, let's prepare to get murdered by a bunch of remnants, shall we? Oh, yeah, I've still got another two Alpha AI cores in my inventory as well. But, uh, yeah, we have a hundred days until a five-strong remnant raid comes and kills me. I'm funny, we're only here to insult you. That is very, that, that's, that's true. Come on. You know, I was doing my, uh... I was doing my video today and I'm just, I'm just cracking on having a good time and I'm just sat there thinking You know, it's so nice not having to play in front of a live audience sometimes, you know <laughs> Get judged for everything you do Got people like Shadow Scythe who comes in and thinks he's funny, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh dear Good memes, good memes Hey, look at that. We've actually got a uh, Tritech Special Task Force coming to defend us. Happy days. We might actually, uh, you know, survive this. Although I'm not holding my breath. Judges even. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm fine. They're still doing that. Um, still recording a uh, video for... Um, I'm trying to say uh, the and you know the infernal revenge i think it's infernal i've actually forgotten what the play ship's called uh the upgradable flagship basically the upgradable battle wagon still recording for that and that's coming along pretty well love roaming around in a battle wagon where the bloody cannon just absolutely annihilates everything it feels so good after using nothing Using what felt like a piece of fucking garbage for the whole game. <laughs> yeah, that's the one the Infernal Machine. Yeah. That thing at the start of the game oh, is hot garbage. I've never used something that sucks so much. But it's at a point now where it actually slaps. Like, unironically, I would use it as a ship. I look at that though. We got the Starfed mining or privateers here apparently. This is our own system though. What are you doing here? I'm gonna raid my own planets. That's how that's how cool I am. Uh, what ships do we have? Ah oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we should probably put the uh holy ship away for the time being. I don't think we're gonna need that against the remnants. We have our super ship that's made by mess and a bunch of other cool and wacky things that we've picked up over our time as over our time of uh, murdering everything and we've run out of supplies because I'm a sensible person that definitely pays attention to what he's doing uh, I should actually probably put a few of these ships away because I don't think we need the tiny sh <laughs> we don't need the ship which has the tiny ass shield and farts out flux I don't think we really need this in our fleet right now uh, we don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need like the eight civilian transports that I've got for some reason. Uh, which we can probably then s store a bunch of this crew. <laughs> which we don't. Which then we, doesn't mean we have to pay for it. Not that money's really an issue for us at the moment because I think we were making we're making about seven hundred thousand a month. Also, once you're done with the Starfed playthrough, what are you going to do next? I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking about doing a playthrough as the Syndrome Fuel Company, but I feel like that mod has so much in it that it's worth a video. So I was going to... I moved that to uh, video uh, potential. And uh, for stream-wise, I don't really know. I'm kind of hoping... I'm kind of planning on doing a bunch of... Uh, kind of hoping getting through, like, uh, this sort of play for it. I don't want to do some other stuff. Like I tried to stream some Hunt Showdown yet on Tuesday, but that didn't work at all. <laughs> Go back old school. Stream some Hunt. Those are the good days. Good old days. Yeah, I probably could. That's probably more. I'd probably do a VIC. Go down that route. Play around with those ships finally. I've only used like a few of their ships. I haven't really been like 
I've been using more of their mod specs than their actual ships. You know what I'm saying? I do want to play some Darkest Dungeon again. But then I also remember how much pain and misery that game causes me. And how sad <laughs> it makes me. <laughs> it makes me so goddamn sad playing that game. But it's all right. It's fine. Might actually, you know, stream some RimWorld as well. That would that would be wild. But we'll see. Got some big plans for this year, hopefully. And if uh, and if I don't and if I don't do them, uh, it's it's not my fault. <laughs> Blame the laziness. <laughs> so much pain and misery will cause it doesn't crash every time. <laughs> No, no, I think the game vanilla just beats me up enough. I don't need to add mods to it. I don't need to add another layer of suffering. Come on. You guys aren't here just to watch me fail, right? That wouldn't be nice. Um. <gasps> Son of a bitch. They disrupted my lobster breeding program. Son of a bitch. How dare they? I was trying I'm just trying to set up a family friendly breeding program for lobsters. And they're gonna come in here and try and blow it up. I'm here to watch you enjoy the game. Oh come on, that's that, that's <laughs> See, that's that's what I need. Thanks, you have it. Uh we don't see you fail because the game crashes. That is very true. I should need, I need to play more stable games. That's the problem. You know, that, that that's my big problem here. <laughs> Maybe I need to play some of those stable triple A games which never have bugs or problems on release. You know what I'm saying? Hello there. All right, how long we got till this uh Okay, we got 33 days until the remnants arrive. I'm hoping all of my stations are going to be up. Uh, Yeah, it looks like they're pretty... Yeah, they're all up. So we, at least we're going to have some battle stations to hide behind, which is nice. Oh, Starfed mining lot. Apparently, we've just raided the Luddick path. Happy days. Play some Darkest Dungeons too. Mm, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to get back in some of the old school games. Might have to bust out a uh, classic stream of uh, Oxygen Not Included. Because we all remember how well I did at that. For those that watched me play that game. And for those that didn't, uh, it mostly ended up with me gassing my own colony by building a uh, generator inside and not doing anything. I think, I, I think the only thing I managed to achieve in that game was turning my piss into drinking water. I think that was pretty much... Uh, <laughs> I think that was pretty much the only thing I managed to achieve in that game that made me happy. Everything else was just a disaster. Hmm. No. No, I have not. Bust out a game of XCOM. You know, that really fun game which never upsets anybody. Fucking... I hate XCOM. Hate that game with a passion. Mostly because every time I fucking played a bad damn thing, you know, you'd be sat there, you hit, you got someone with like a 99% chance of hitting something and it misses. No. No, I'm not. No, I'm not playing the OG. <laughs> Yeah. Now nah, I had a lot of fun playing XCOM. It was it was good fun. Uh have I ever beaten XCOM? No. <laughs> Cuz I refuse to play on anything but like the hardest difficulty and on Iron Man mode. I refuse to play easy XCOM. And that is why I've never beat the, beaten the game. <laughs> 14 <laughs> rookies and a high explosive. We find out who the king of the squaddies is. 
The real champ. What's this bloody... Alright, so the remnants are still travelling to system. Now, the great thing about the ninth battle group is this is the only jump point. So, we'll, we'll, we'll know when they arrive. Long war stream when. Well, you want me to stream for like 48 hours just to get through the first part of the... Uh, first part of the fucking stream? Or game, sorry? That's like saying I should stream Terror and Victor. We might, after about 20 hours, we might actually uh, get past like the first stage of the game. Oh my god. Here we go. First Remnant Legion. Oh, there's actually two of them. Alright, well, I don't really want to use the Siege Boy in this battle. We don't really need to, you know, we don't need the Siege Boy here. Right, you there. You there. Plus, I'm not smart enough to play that game. I tried playing it, and I just don't have a clue what's going on. You know... I just sort of sit there and just go, I, 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 I don't know. I just don't know. I just do things and things happen. And all I, ma I, I managed to figure out like the first part of the game, like building a, a, like an economy and stuff like that. And, and then that was it. <laughs> I, I got to space. I was like, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing here. Uh, also, I think I've got myself in a bit of a pickle here. Uh, I really have got myself in a pickle. Ooh. Eh. Eh. Run away. Oh, God. So many Reapers. All right. This was... Uh... All right. Maybe that, that did not go as well as I thought that would. Let's, <laughs> Let's get the Sky Splitter out, shall we? I just kind of jumped into my death then. <laughs> God damn it. I just... It's, it's... Sat here talking to you guys, getting me all distracted up in here. You know, you never know. The game might crash if you keep talking. <laughs> that is a very valid point. I don't really know what I'm doing in most games. But, hey, you know, I like to think I'm getting to the point where I'm somewhat competent at this game. Just minus what just happened. That was, uh, that was nothing to do with me. We also don't have a single points here, so this is probably not doing us any favours. Probably we have like no deployment part cost uh, points, and the AI have managed to like get all of them, so they have everything. Ugh. Right, let's go regroup with the main with our uh, funky ship down here. Which, uh, I really hope doesn't die because that thing's really expen- What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> yeah, hey, buddy. Um. Oh, God, no, that shit better not die because it's going to cost me a fortune to rebuild. Ah, shit. It's disabled. Yeah, this is only, like, the first remnant fleet as well. So this is, uh, I can already tell how well this is going to go for us. Annihilation protocol. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying anything. You know, maybe, maybe things just, maybe it just isn't my day today. Maybe I'm just making all the wrong calls. <laughs> it's, it's really not going well. <laughs> This has not been a flying start, but we've got the siege boy now. We we can't mess this up. Well, we don't have that many reapers because I don't. Uh, I took command of the other ship. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's it, it, everything's gonna be okay. Don't worry about it. All right. This is all part of the plan. <laughs> Okay, this isn't part of the plan. Hey, I have some of those, you cheeky. Did, did I seriously miss every single one of those Reapers? Have a bit of this, then, you little fucks. 
Yeah. All right. Okay. Alright, let's get rid of that thing. Oh my god. All the coins planned. Everything here is going exactly uh, the way I planned it. I'm just a masterful planner. That's what that's what it is. Big old explosion again. That's gonna overload like a majority of them. Let's go kill this thing. Alright. Here we go. Again. <laughs> you know, everything starts going wrong, you just bust out the old classic Siege Boy. You know, like I said, like everyone has a plan until the Reapers come out. And this is perfect. And this is proving the point exactly against the AI here. They had a plan and it was going very well. And the Reapers came out and now suddenly it's all up in the air. All right, sir. It's time for you to die. There we are. He's dead. <laughs> Who'd have thought that lightning and thunder, uh, lightning and uh, fire would be a fantastic weapon combined? Uh, yeah, I'm backed up with some Reapers. There we go. See, easy battle, boys. Easy battle. <laughs> Great game crashing. No, it didn't, didn't crash. E easy. That, that was all according to plan. Everything went really well there. Nothing went wrong. We were... It, it, it definitely... Everything I wanted <laughs> happened in that fight. <laughs> right, let's just return home quick before the next uh, remnant fleets come in. I haven't seen you stream since before Christmas. Yeah, I haven't streamed since last year. You know what I'm saying? It's been a long time. <laughs> uh. Yeah, no, I've been... Uh, I was saying to... Uh, I think I said a I was saying to uh, a couple of mates. They're like, oh, you haven't really done anything. Isn't Christmas like the main time you want to do like loads of uploads and streams and stuff? Uh, but I've worked in retail like the last sort of six years, seven years. And this is the first time I've ever actually had a Christmas off <laughs> since I was about 17. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I had done like, uh, I, I, I haven't done, I haven't had like a full Christmas week off in years. So I'm going to have a sit back and, uh, I enjoyed myself. I had a lot of drink, a lot of, a lot of food, a lot of Christmas dinners. And, uh, yeah, it was really good. Pretty good. Now we're already and refreshed for this year. Uh, but that does leave me in a weird limbo. Like I said, I was saying earlier with the Infernal Revenge video. I've sort of like got half a video made. <laughs> and now I've got to play the game of catch up to find out what I actually need to do. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. I'll still try and drag all these remnants behind my... Uh, Probably my star base this time rather than, you know, fighting them one on one in a fair fight. <gasps> Surprise. Uh, I feel like combat readiness is still a scam. <laughs> what? I, I don't know about that one, Chief. Combat readiness is like 
pretty pretty important right Yeah, they, 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 these uh, these guys don't stand a chance. To be fair, I wouldn't be lying if I pretty much had a Christmas dinner between, uh, well, every day for about. S since Christmas up until pretty much New Year's, I had some form of Christmas dinner or something to go to. <laughs> I, I ate a lot of I ate a lot of food over Christmas, and uh, I, uh, Christmas dinner on uh, Christmas Day, and I had like another Christmas meal to go to on Boxing Day. I think the twenty seventh we cooked our own little dinner. Um, and then the 28th, I was somewhere else. I was like, like, I think it was like my nan's house. And then I think 29th, we didn't have anything. 30th, we were at someone else's house. And then New Year's Eve, I was at, out for a curry. <laughs> it was, uh, it was pretty ridiculous. Oh no, I definitely put on a hell of a lot of weight. I think one of the mills we had a Christmas KFC, which was uh something. <laughs> but goddamn did I eat a hell of a lot of food. So uh it it's 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 gonna be nothing but health from now on. I I I, I promise. <laughs> Just gonna be eating very, very healthy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't had a KFC in ages, and uh, I think it was my mum was just like, you know what? I think it was this must be in twenty seventh or twenty eighth, one of the days. That's all a big blur for me now. It's like, let's go do a Christmas KFC. So I was like, let's fucking do it. We ordered like a fat KFC, and that was pretty much that day. These remnants are getting absolutely clapped. You know, my partner, like, fucking said the other day, right? He is there, like. <laughs> he just turns around to me and goes, You know, there's, there's something wrong with the bed, you know. I haven't put on any weight, but I feel like I have less bed space now. And I'm just like, <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> That's such a cruel thing to say! <laughs> Trying to imply that I've put on a shitload of weight to fucking. <laughs> the dick. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's something like that. It's like, oh, you know, I feel like I have less bed space, but I know I haven't put on any weight. There was something along those lines, and I was just like awestruck for a moment. I was like, you fuck. <laughs> also, Alpha AI call there again. Happy days. Okay, this looks like. Is this the last Legion swarm? <laughs> you stole an outfit. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Uh, I was uh, not not impressed with that. Also, I need to stop flying into these point defense drones. <laughs> All right, I feel like the burst ship as well is probably not like the main one to go for in defense, but. Yeah, fuck it. As I said, fat Tory egg. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty pointless, these drones. They've only got a single, like, PD system. At least, if they had, like, an auto pulse laser on them, I reckon they'd actually be pretty tasty, but... Yeah. Fucking ramming maneuver. <laughs> being gay is fine. If being raw is a problem. Yes. I don't even know how to respond to that. 
Come on, man. Don't be like that. <laughs> Alright, yeah. This is pretty much won this battle. The uh, Star Fortress is uh, pretty, pretty impregnable. You know what I'm saying? Your existence is a skill issue. <laughs> Alright. Is that... Is there, is there any more remnant raids? No, yes, there's still some more fleets lurking, but I feel like my allies who have been here should be able to handle this. We are here to laugh at you. <laughs> Thanks. I stole my sensor. Yeah, that's it. That's pretty much... That's it. I'll take control. We'll take back of that. I think it's pretty much done. We have like three massive fleets here, so... That is all... That shit is all good. I bought Mountain Blade Bannerlords two days ago. That's a good game. That's something else I want to play a bit more of, but... I don't know. There's so many games I like to play that... I just... Just don't play. But I've been going back into a bit of Civilization 6. That's been good fun. Playing with a couple of friends and... Uh, doing random nations and rolled the Mongolians. So I thought it'd be only right to uh, <laughs> go for the full horde mentality. <laughs> I just built like 30 sets of horsemen. I think at one point I had a military size of about 50 to 60 units and about 30 normal horsemen. I think it was about 10 of the other, like their special uh, range cavalry, some knights and then a bunch of trebuchets and great bombards. No one expected the Mongolian horde. Even more shit at Banner Lords than you are at Star Sector. Hey, I'm not that bad at Banner Lords. If you, I want to point out to the video that I made. I actually ended up with quite a reasonable size empire because the AI just decided to give me it for some reason. <laughs> you know, I wasn't complaining, but I did end up with like a quite a large empire. Uh, right. Let's start moving some of these Alpha AI cores around. We have two plants here that don't have Alpha AI cores, so we'll just put them in charge of those. Uh, actually, we're also... Put one here. <laughs> no, it was actually my wife that did everything for me in... In, uh, Banner Lords. <laughs> my wife took care of me. My wife beat my ass. And uh, won like a majority of shit for me, and she ruled the em like all my kingdom or like my main city with an iron fist. Kept the populace in line. It was glorious. But you know what they say: behind every strong man is a stronger woman. So you know, I I I I I, I had to. Uh, she 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 did all the dirty work for me, basically. Okay. Right, so we still... I, oh, we're going to restore this ship. Oh, one demon and it's going to cost me a million to restore? Oh. Crikey. That's fine. That is okay, though. I wonder if we can turn this into, like... I wonder if it would be better as, like, a mini sort of burst ship, but... Oh, yeah, well, it can stay as a laser boy. My D mod costs a million. <laughs> hey, what's up? Mm. My boy here is uh, unfortunately not selling any uh, any super guns for us at the moment. What custom production can we do? We can do quite a lot, but nothing that stands out. Oh yeah, we can put the siege boy away now because we're not doing any big wars. We are starting to get a very nice collection of ships, aren't we? Hmm. Because <laughs> you are so shit at maintaining your troops that I can see that happening. What? Right, I would be better as anything not under your control. Imagine not being able to pay correctly and full 
failing so bad at paying you explode an entire hangar yes <laughs> everything is fine okay that's all you need to know don't worry about it uh we need to get rid of some crew now right so that leaves us with pretty much four, four combat ships so we need to get a few more ships actually i wonder if this should rob what that was what? i ain't got my reading spectacles on i can't fucking <laughs> i can't fucking see half the writing right i can't see it and i can't read it's just a dangerous combination <laughs> Nah, but this little thing, right, it is, it's beautiful. It, it is great. It's just the advanced beam boy, as we call it. And it gets high energy focus as well, so his beams do, like, mad damage. Look at that. Get beamed. It's a beautiful ship. It's also got that thing where its flux repairs it or something. Um, now, let me, let, me, let me get a ship out here and take some damage. Look, see, we, now, now we've got some damage. We'll, we'll, we'll build up some flux. Build some flux. There we go. And then if I now retreat and vent it. Look, our health goes up. It's magical. Right, your design is shit. Well, you know what? Your face is shit. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. Uh, right, I do want to go fight some remnants, I think. Because I want to get some more blueprints. Did we just bust out the old Perseverance again? You know, that ship did... That ship did us wonders. Or do we smash out... Oh, I really do like this ship. I really do like the missile boy, as I like to call it. Hmm... I have the two large missile slots for it as well, which is good. Uh, hey, man, appreciate the uh, Twitch Prime there. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I guess I just... I don't really have, like, all the right missiles, but I guess I could just build loads of swarm batteries for it. There you go. Something like that. And then if we get a couple of, uh, mm, we have one of the guns there. Right, your troops are shit because of you. Your tactics are so stupid at least actually wins because your enemy does not expect your stupidity of your caliber. You need mods to create perfect planets out of ass that you still lose in the end. And then you play a mod with busted ships and you still manage to fucking lose. You know, see, I, I I, would, you know, I'd argue that point. I think I do quite well. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think I'm a fairly competent person and don't do so badly. Uh, right. Okay, what is actually, what does autofit think? Okay, so it thinks a hell of a lot of... Uh, a lot of harpoons but i disagree because i think swarm batteries are great uh then we probably want to stick i could stick some hole busters on this <laughs> stick some hole busters on this bitch or we could just go for that a hmm never enough missiles that's pretty much the plan here with uh oh hang on go to weapon groups just sort of like make sure they're all linked or i fire i i, I do have like a little this, this ship is just good because you sort of, sort of like jump around and then you're just there like hey and then the big red missiles come out and that's pretty much the end of them 
All right, I wonder if actually, I wonder if we got a better version of these because the actual like hub, the actual torpedo version that comes on the ship normally is much better than the swarm batteries. That's usually how I like to run them. <laughs> But, yeah. <laughs> what do you eat? Come on, guys. Have a bit have a bit more faith in me. I'm not seeing enough faith and support. This is outrageous. You got you guys need to believe in me. Actually, well, actually, I think if I remember correctly, one of the ships has Where's those torpedoes. You have them. Give me, give me, give me the actual missiles that's meant to be on these things. These MRM launcher things. They're meant, they are really good. Uh, wherever they are. There we go. Right. You go. It already has ECCM package in it. Uh, I don't really care what's in the rest of these slots, to be honest. So we'll just build some anti-shield there. Those guns are facing slightly out. Just chuck in some heavy scrap shot, because you can never go wrong with them. Thank you very much. Food has arrived. Uh, and I guess we just want more. Sure, we'll just stick that in there. The ship's gonna look a little bit wacky because um well yeah we don't we don't quite have all the components for it but it's fine it's fine that's all you need to know do, 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 do. what do we stick at the front do we just uh <laughs> nyx launches <laughs> yes Rep oh, I forgot I have the nukes, don't I? We could just scrap everything we're just going for and then just have the nuclear missiles strapped to the ship. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, we got all of this stuff, right? So we could just get into range and be like, fire loads of missiles and then we just fire two nuclear missiles at him. And fucking miss! Ahem. <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> Let's just do that again, shall we? <laughs> uh, let me let me re re rephrase that. So we fire all the missiles at him, right? And then we fire two nuclear missiles. Wait, no, these aren't the nukes. Um, yeah, they are. Are they? Yeah, it is. Ah, I didn't worry about it. Yeah, we have some pretty pretty big missiles here. There's your NYX drone launchers. Just whack a couple of those on. Uh, isn't there like... Do I have like the Talon Rail intercept drones? I only have three of them. But yeah, we could have a ship that literally just launches out more ships. You know, so you could have... You could have the ship go... Boom, here's two MYX and then here's a load of talent intercept the drones as well. <laughs> it's the what we, we could call this the missile carrier, you know what I mean? But keep launching more talent intercept the drones and more NYX drone launcher. NYX drones, see? No. No. It's, 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 it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna work. Stop naming. <laughs> What's wrong with my naming? Come on, man. What's wrong with Missile Boy and Siege Boy and Missile Carrier? Come on, that was a really creative name. Get it? Because it's a missile ship converted into a carrier because it carries ships in its missile slots. Come on, you can't tell me that's not. Creative. 
But our stronger mods from other shit. That is very true. We could just go download uh, the UA UAF, UFA or UAF mod, sorry, and uh, get the semi brevs. Semi brevs just destroy everything. Um, I don't really know what we need in this, to be honest. We don't really need much. The ship's pretty good on its own. Now that we have uh, you know, expanded missile racks, probably just a few like things to make it slightly tanky. It's fucked it up again, you little shit. We want it all linked because the idea is to get hit with a big old spam of missiles. And it goes a little something like this. And they get hit with all of that, and then you hit with everything else, and then, yeah. It's not really... Not really a lot they can do about it. It's pretty good. <laughs> Why did it remove you on my follow? I have no idea. Twitch doing Twitch things. To be fair, I think the... Uh, I think just having more spammers is is the way forward. More missile spam is 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 best it seems. There we go. They ain't gonna fucking expect this, are they? Those scrap shots are pretty terrible there, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. We have like a couple of hole busters, maybe. That will do the trick. Yeah, I mean, at least with this design, the swarm missiles are kind of unlimited. And then we also have over 200 torpedo missiles here. So, you know, that makes it a bit more. <laughs> it kind of does, that does, you know, good bit of work there. I think it's probably best just to have two ion pulses in the front, right? There we go. Someone's going to get really upset with me and, like, claim that I've completely butchered this ship. And uh, they'd be right. Uh, let's just replace those with hypervelocity drivers. Maximum anti-shield capacity. Missile comes in, does the rest. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. It does have infinite missiles already. But I don't have the missiles that are meant to come on this ship. Which are like the little light blue missiles that, that shoots out and, and they're much better. I don't actually have those, so I've just resorted to swarm batteries. Alright. But if I had the proper design for this ship, I would go for that. But, yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you gotta admit though, that's quite satisfying watching all those missiles go out. <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> uh right i need to just link those together all right this is probably like a horrible horrible design or it, it, it's gonna work wonders we'll, we'll find out in a minute let's uh let's go out and try find some remnants to kill shall we just grab that uh i guess we'll just uh, we got a couple of little ships here grab those grab a little carrier grab that mora we don't need the Mora. Mora. Actually, no, we'll take the Mora. Why not? It's got a wacky design on it. There we go. So we have like a little fleet here to go out and find the wonders of the world. Which means it's a good time to take a save before I go and get myself killed, you know? Oh, shit. All right. Now, if I remember correctly, we haven't really searched the right side of the galaxy. So let's start by going down there. To, okay, maybe not White Dwarf. I don't really like going around those. Let's go start by looking at World Mill, the black hole. 
that sounds like a good place to start. Whilst I eat some chicken and rice. Hell yeah. Uh, but she burned my way through the slipstream because I hate them. I swear they're never going in the right direction that I want. Ah, don't worry about it. They're all disrupted now, so that's fine. <laughs> Someone went and blew up the station. Probably redesign my character and grab containment procedures rather than yeah i don't really need automated ships i was going for a meme but we're not really utilizing that meme so we'll just switch that out to containment procedures and um yeah that'll do no we don't need operatives Actually, I think I already have one. I oh, don't know. All right. There's only a low warning beacon, but we'll have a little mooch, see what we can find. Absolutely nothing. Pretty sure I have an operative, don't I? No, maybe I don't. Oh, I don't know. It's all right. I don't, I don't need anyone to help me. I don't need any commanders to help me. I don't need any operatives. I, everything is fine. All right. <laughs> Look, see, I'm only making a million a month at this point. You can't say I'm doing something wrong. We're making bank. Fucking looters, man. Coming out, stealing my fucking shoe collection that I made. I was not impressed. Actually, I was more upset with that, um, that city that rebelled. You remember that? And I was just, you know, I was just moseying about, having a good time. And then the rebellious city just came out and murdered me. Murdered me straight in the face. Uh, let's go a little bit deeper into space. Uh, I was supposed to, and it's not on Steam. Yeah, this game should be on Steam, to be honest. I don't know why they haven't done it, but you never know. One, I think they're probably waiting for the uh, game to be finished, would be my guess. Even though it's been in development for like I don't know, seven, eight years. Yeah, I think Steam Cut is like 30%, isn't it? Or something like that as well. Because uh, some game company got really upset with that. And we're like suing them. But yeah, it is a massive cut, isn't it? Uh, on by Steam, is that? Yeah. Well, that's how Steam has the monopoly, isn't it? Like, a lot of people don't like having to have Epic Games Store, Origin, Microsoft Store. Everyone, people just want their games in one place. And I think Steam, since Steam was pretty much the first one on the ball, they became the dominant, uh, you know, dominant product, I guess. And that's pretty much it. Then they get to charge whatever they want. They have a monopoly on it. 
Well, as much as Epic Games, the Epic Games Store tried to uh, buy up every single game they possibly could to be exclusive. I don't think that really made a dink in the uh, Steam Empire. <laughs> I got Ubisoft or you play right well yeah that's why I keep saying about Anno 1800 I think Anno 1800 would be a much bigger game if it didn't become an epic exclusive like I really think that Anno Anno got or you or Ubisoft completely cucked the developers of Anno by making it epic store exclusive I honestly think that game could have done so well because it's such a good game. But no one gave a shit about it because it was you either pre-ordered it on Steam before it came out or you had to go buy it on Epic Store and no one might like the idea of Epic Store. Yeah. To be fair, I saw that Total War Troy was a free... was... Um, was free on epic store and i just knew that it was either they're trying too hard or it's fucking awful of a game <laughs> it's so bad so i just stayed away from it i'm old school i like my medieval 2 which i now have on the on my phone so i can sit there whilst taking a shit and play medieval 2 and uh i'm playing a bit of attila again at the moment i really i really liked attila attila was good fun Mostly because I have my, like, you know, fetish of trying to save the Roman Empire. You know what I mean? <laughs> Rome will live on forever. But yeah. Strangest thing Steam is... Uh... Yeah, oh, a continental world. Oh shit, I just ran out of supplies. Oh, I was not been I have not been paying attention. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> not good. Not good. Uh at least we had this uh oh suspend all repairs. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, we need to get back. Ver ah, there's actually a plant just up here, isn't there? Let's just go over here. Buy some supplies. Rome shall die today and its legacy will be forgotten. Me, when I see... <laughs> no. No, we love the Romans. I was playing some of that, um... Expedition Rome. That game was, uh... Oh. Allow me to live out my fantasy of running around as a Roman. Killing people. You know... It was great. It was great. I loved it. I played it for about 20 hours straight, almost. Amber there with a 32 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Show up and take my money. I have for, well, yeah, 32 months. Hmm. Long live Rome. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right, let's buy a ton of supplies before my entire navy breaks, please. Oh my god, it's going to cost me need 700 supplies to repair? 660 supplies, fuck you now. It's alright, we can afford it. I think the problem is, I don't actually have any, like, proper survey ships. So I should probably stop surveying planets, which I know I can't, uh... The system's so bright. Uh, <laughs> I should stop surveying planets. Which I do, which don't have ruins on it, basically. Actually, whilst we are there, we probably should have bought some fuel. Uh, Nintendo does things when they go. This game should be on Switch. Yeah, I think the uh, Steam Deck was probably like one of the coolest things that's been brought out recently. It's an uh, incredibly cool piece of kit. And it's really good, actually. Really fucking good. My uh, partner has one, and it pretty much runs a majority of stuff flawlessly. 
Like, I was playing with one of my mates as well, and he's placed fucking ready or not on the Steam Deck. An absolute unit of a man. I struggle to play that game of mouse and keyboard, and he's out here, like, rinsing people, rinsing levels on fucking, you know, <laughs> he's out here rinsing levels whilst on a Steam Deck. I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah. No. If I could do one thing in life, like change one piece of history, I would say that I, I would change it to like the Romans never fell. That would be good. Could you imagine a modern day Roman Empire? How cool would that be? Can you imagine just waking up and being like, ah, oh, let's go to the other side of Rome. Uh, oh, hmm. You know, let's go to Britain today. Let's go to Italy. You know, one border, everything's built for. You got, you know, ro like we'd actually have roads that are sensible. <laughs> there wouldn't be any world wars because everything was under Rome. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh yeah, we meant to restore this, weren't we? 10,000 metal, 1,000 heavy machinery, and 4,000... I remember this. We've been here before. I don't think I have enough act, like shit to do that, but... Let's have a little more look around. That's basically the EU, though. Yeah, but the EU's boring. It's not Rome. If it was Rome, it would be cooler. EU sucks. And that's coming from someone that lives in on, on, on the Britland. <laughs> I'm never going to say that again because that was cringe and horrible. Emma, please remind me if I say that again. Uh, shoot me. Um. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> let's go kill some... Let's kill some... Uh, let's kill some of these guys. Ah, oh, ain't glorious. This ship is just it's beautiful. Here we are. Here's a little. Here's a few more for you, mate. Enjoy those. Is it? it out goes the swarm of missiles. <laughs> Never forget Bretland. Ah, oh, yeah. Anyway, moving on from uh, our, everyone's dream of being able to live in Rome. Um, yeah, you reckon we should go for that? Or has anyone actually done the automated shipyard before? Do they actually know what it does? Is it is it worth doing the 10,000 metal? The 10,000 metal and 1,000 machinery isn't a problem. It's going to be the 4,000 ship components, which is going to be the ball ache to get. There's someone at my door. Oh. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, I was just like, we don't get guests at my house. What's going on? Uh, okay, ship destroyed. That thing's a little ball lake. I remember fighting that before. That thing is a horrible, horrible ship. Uh, yeah, so we're all in the... Uh, Mindset of we're going after this automated shipyard, right? No, it wasn't Chinese food. <laughs> Fuck's sake. All right, you know what? Okay, let let let's do it. Let's let's get this together. Scrap this searching crap. Let's head home and uh, we need we need a couple of. We're gonna need a lot of ships, aren't we? We're gonna need a lot of a lot of ships. And uh, unfortunately, I can't actually buy out. I can't actually make atlases. So let's. Let's 
head back up there because they probably have atlases, right? Hmm. Uh. Oh, it's all going on now. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> yeah, man, that's actually what I'm eating here. It's not actually chicken and rice. I've actually just got like a fat Chinese in front of me right now. And I was getting so hungry that I've ordered a second one. You know how it is. <clears throat> Boy, is it chinky? It's just... It's Chinese food. <laughs> right, have they... Okay, they have got atlases here, but I can't actually buy it. Oh my god. What the hell is that? A battle carrier? A cruiser, sorry? That thing looks awesome. Hmm... Let's buy it. We have we can afford 1.3 million. Let's see what this thing's all about. We'll restore it as well for another 2 million. What the hell is this? One of the two massive ve Do I even need to put guns on this thing? <laughs> oh my god. That's cool as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hang on a minute hey, hang on a minute oh my god <laughs> what does assault mode do just comment around SP I don't know what does that do <laughs> <laughs> Missiles. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Unfortunately, it seems like these missiles kind of suck. Well, that's so cool. Does it have anything else going for it? Is, is that literally it, though? Oh, it's got a big cannon on the front of it. I didn't realize I had a big cannon. Oh, does it only have one shot? Wait. Oh, do you have to charge up... Do you have to charge up the cannon with your... Oh! Okay, so I think I've got... I think I've just got my head around it. You have to use your ability... Engage the ship into a ship mode, increasing... Uh, I'll take... It's now a one. Do I have to like charge? Use the. Do I have to like use. Turn the ship into assault mode. Which then charges up the gun. There we go. And then we can fire the big. Big gun. I think that's how it works. Yeah, this kind of... Yeah, maybe this maybe this is not as good as I thought it was going to be. Kind of sad. There's, there's kind of a... It's a wacky ship, but it's definitely not worth the 3 million I just invested in it. We just stick on... You know, whatever it says over here. Maybe it'll be a good, uh, maybe it'll be a good, uh, good at killing small ships, right? Like this, uh, crappy thing. Yeah, no, this is shit. This thing sucks. That thing's terrible. Let's buy the onslaught.
big daca uh we'll restore it but we've gotta we, we gotta get home first though before we use uh any of that stuff i think we just like pissed away a load of money that we definitely did not need to do but that's okay let's let's get home and start building up our uh start building up our funds no you're not meant to tell on easy that don't tell them about the bean boys you'll get upset and shout at me again <laughs> I haven't got any beams. What are you talking about, guys? We only use uh, the, the best quality shit. Also, isn't it great fun just like running around in storms and having to spend a ridiculous amount repairing them? Isn't this a fun game? All uh, right. Okay, so. Bada boom, bada bing. Let's uh, throw that away, throw that away. Uh, uh, we'll just put that away with this. We don't need it. Uh, right. Okay. Big onslaught. Now. <clears throat> how I used to build these things was a big... Ooh. Interface auto cannon. Oh, that sounds... That sounds right up my alley. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Has it turned into like shrapnel rounds? Cavalry charge? <laughs> nice. Okay. Right. We'll come back to that. Oh no. We probably should just do it now, right? Um. Now, I heard a little rumor that little bitches like to build these things with uh, point defense guns. I like to build them with the uh, Nixie arrays on the side. There, that that does the trick for me. That gets me going. That does. And we always have a line of heavy maulers on the front. Love having a couple of hyper velocities here. And then I always like to build these with annihilator missiles. Uh, a couple of flat guns on the back here. Flat guns on the side. And then whatever we want here. Probably some form of uh, point defense. Ah, we'll just go for the little Nixie cans. There we go. It's got an advanced ballistic interface. Doesn't use flank. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I don't mean I don't use like, you know, the Devastator cans on the side. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not that ballsy. Come on. Uh, let's just build in the reinforced bulkhead, shall we? Happy days. And we love to throw expanded missile racks on it. We love to see it. Build in heavy armor as well. Love to see it. Uh, expanded magazines. Um, I don't know why I built in heavy armor. This isn't meant to be like massively armored, is it? Forced overdrive. You know, kind of hold redirect the power from the shields to temporal kind of allowing for a permanent overdrive activation to at least partially counteract the loss of shields. Saved way of missing shield generators used instead to mount armor platings. So we could just remove the shield. <laughs> we could just remove the shield. That's like advanced shield stun, right? Oh my god. 
An 83 speed onslaught? Terrifying. Oh my god. Yeah, and no, I ain't gonna quite cut it for me, Chief. I think a shield's kind of a kind of an important thing, right? No matter how little or how big it is. Eighty three speed, we need to go faster. <laughs> Right, good old caveat chart. 533 speed, is that fast enough for you? Big Dakers. Big Dakar. We love Dak. Fuck me, yeah, I'm getting a phone call. Oh, fuck it. They can, they can call me back if it's important. Uh, yeah, okay, I can get behind this ship. <laughs> Don't worry about it, alright? Actually, a couple more slots here. I didn't realize that. Let's throw a couple of uh, swanky little rail guns in there. Uh, right. Okay. Anyway, let's go do what we were actually meant to do. So we need... So we have 2,200 ship components. So we need to go out and buy some more of those. We need... Basically... Uh, what was it 10,000? So we need 15,000 storage capacity, right? So let's just ditch a load of ships that I don't need. We'll keep our, we'll keep a little, uh, keep a little contingency of ships to keep me safe for the time being. Just ditch a load of that. That, that, that's, that will do for a fleet. Spin off the crew, right. Let's go buy some trade ships. Uh, I'll just go to the prison freeport as well because, like, that's going to have an atlas at least. <laughs> Star sector more like gays. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. Let's have a little let's let's, let's let's test this fleet out. Let's test let's test this ship out. Let's have a let's have a little play around with it. You know what I'm saying? Let's go and uh Oh my god. The speed boost is ridiculous. Let's go and grab uh Let's just see what this thing's all about. There's a mule there. Hey, Mr. Mule. Okay, you can't cancel the cavalry charge. You can't cancel the cavalry charge. <laughs> it's not like the bird drive which you can cancel. You, you are fully committed when you pull that cavalry charge button. Okay. Okay, but le lesson learned. What is that abomination of a ship? That thing looks horrible. Oh my god, look at all the DACA that's coming out of me. There's like missiles and projectiles coming out of every angle. Holy shit. I am the projectile. That's what the cavalry mode is. <laughs> right, you guys want to like dick on that. I'm out for that big ship. A big boy over there, he's mine. Hey, buddy. You're about to fucking get it. Hit him with everything. Nice, okay. Let's not overcommit. Overcommitment is bad. Overcommitment is really bad. And we also have a dominator here to shoot me in the side with two auto cans, which is not very helpful. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean sounds like a true toy? I'm just saying it over... <laughs> what?
Okay, venting takes a little while. But then again, I think we had about 30,000 flux there or something stupid like that. Nice. Scotland fan boys in Syria. Alright, anyway, moving on. Uh, that, um, that ship is very dead. Let's get over and bully their capital ship again. Why'd you... <laughs> I feel like that's, uh, that's my job as a streamer, is just to point out the, uh, uh, all the stupid shit that you guys say. All right, from all, it's so hard to catch you live. Just want to tell you that I love your content. Keep up and to get timed out for saying it, you <laughs> anyway, I appreciate the kind words. Uneasy is here, so you're probably about to get, like, beaten up by him. <laughs> your insult was, uh, yeah, <laughs> calling me an egg was not enough. You need to ramp that up, buddy. All right, yeah. Moral of the story: the pirates they didn't uh, they didn't do so well, did they? I can add to my uh, ship component collection that I need to rebuild that automated shipyard, which I hope someone one one of you have remembered where it is because I can't actually remember where it is. So uh, this is entirely on you guys. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Hey, I gotta make it. I just gotta make a quick phone call. I'll be right back one sec. So it's all kicking off tonight. Right, sorry about that. Um, it's all drama going on tonight, but it's okay. Uh, thank you for the uh, uh, one bit. Damn right, it's Ross Hector. It's the Chinese making sure you're missing as they haven't seen you. You know what? I walked into the uh, I walked into my local Chinese joint the other day, right, and they called me. They called my order by name. By name. Uh, and uh, as soon as I walked in there, they're like, ah, oh, hey, James, how are you doing? Obviously, they said my last name, which I'm not going to dox myself. But yeah, and I was like, oh, hey, how you how you doing? <laughs> and uh, yeah. So that was embarrassing. <laughs> James Rarrington. Yes, they were basically like, ah, Mr. Ra, <laughs> how are you doing? And I was like, I'm doing great. Hmm. Right, there wasn't any uh, atlases for sale there, which I thought there would be. So we're going over to Syndra, the next best place. Yeah, that's basically how that conversation. That's what. If, oh, yeah, it's basically how I felt after that conversation. I wasn't impressed. I say I wasn't impressed. I wasn't surprised. You know what? This is gonna make me even sound like even a fat fuck. That was a, that's the second Chinese joint that knows me on a name basis. <laughs> <laughs> on a first name basis, it's the second one. Right. Two atlases here. I don't think it's going to be quiet enough. Hopefully it will. Mm. 
Because you must be so fat. Hmm. We're fine to be the Tory ambassador to China. <laughs> nah, fuck that. It sounds controversial, right? You know, I, I, I like, you know, I like my Chinese food, but Jap Japanese food. Mm. That, that, that's a, that's just so much better. I, 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 I do love some Japanese food. After the rate of higher. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't even know where his food comes from. In fact, I was um I was talking to a friend about this the other day and they were like, Does that generally like any food that you don't like? And I'm like, you know, I eat a lot of food. And I can confirm there's only like a couple of things I actually despise. There's not like many things that I don't like in this life. Like when it comes to food. I think the only thing I don't really like is mashed potato. I eat, I eat potato in like any other form. But mashed potato is just grim. I fucking hate it. It just makes me feel ill every time I'm eating it. It just reminds me of like, I don't know. It's just There's just the texture of it is awful. I don't know how people can like it. Freak. <laughs> what? No. No, 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 no. Listen to you little shits. Look, mashed potato is fucking horrible, and I won't... You can't convince me otherwise. The only good form of mashed potato, right, is when it's actually, like, a bit crispy. You know what I mean? Like, on top of a shepherd's pie, or on top of a... You know, some other thing that has mashed potato on the top of it that is when it's acceptable but any other time like having mashed potato with like sausage beans and mash you know something like that where it's on its own it's just fucking horrible horrible disgusting crispy mashed potato exactly it's gotta be gotta be good mate I will I will stand here and argue with all of you about this topic. I am I do not agree with mashed potato. <laughs> no. No it's not. You're wrong. You're all wrong. You're wrong. You're brought up wrong. It's, it, it's, no, it's awful. It's horrible. Don't even don't even at me. Don't even at me. All right. That is the components sorted out. We have the heavy machinery, but I'll buy some more just in case. Uh, <laughs> okay. You don't actually have to at me. That, that, that's the, that was the joke. Don't. don't okay. All right. Whatever. Go, go do what you want to do. Be free. All right, uh, that's 12,000 cargo space. I'm putting out to 13,000. We'll just grab some more heavy freighters. I don't really know how much these store, but it'll do. I really, this is not going to be worth it, is it? You lost the time. <laughs> I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't do this normally, but you've started a what? 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 Tell me why mashed potato is nice. Go on. Explain to me in your own words, no more than like, you know, a hundred words, why mashed potato is good. Go on. Tell me. Explain to me. Creaminess. No. That's, that's not it. That's, it's not, it's horrible. It's like fucking, what are you like? What are you like? Babies? You need baby food put inside? You need to be fed baby food? It's disgusting. It's mush. It's horrible. It's got the same texture as a wet puddle or a muddy wet puddle. That's what his texture is. All right. I'm not having it. It's disgusting. Oh, we can just buy all the metal here, actually. Can we actually just buy everything we need here and just go straight from here? 
Almost. Who does, what kind of gay man doesn't like white creamy semi fluid in his mouth? How fucking outrageous. Outrageous. A muddy wet puddle, puddle that tastes, no, no. Because it's easy, it just slides down your throat. Uh, I like mashed potato, which is basic potato mashed potato. No. No. Not having it. You can insult me all you want, but I will never change my mind. Alright, nice. We just need to buy like these 2,000 ship components and so we can go do this. Actually, just a dis. <laughs> Uh, you know what? The mashed potatoes you use, um, you never eat good mashed potatoes because if you see it as you describe, the person who cooked it has no idea what order. Well, I just don't, like, even like in like a fancy restaurant, right? They have like the tiny little dollop of mashed potato. And I still leave that. I hate going to fancy restaurants because they don't give you any food. So you have to like eat everything just to sort of survive. But... When they put like that little dollop of mashed potato on, I'll still leave that because that thing's fucking horrible. It's horrible. It's disgusting. Alright, and okay. Alright, next question then. What do you guys do to make a good mashed potato? Go on, what what makes a what makes mashed potato god tier? And I'll make some and prove to you that it's still horrible. I had a very good kind of other flavors. Mix some of the gravy so you maintain the flavor. Burger, bang on the side of the dish, ideal for maintaining the flavor. That's what I mean. Like the only time it like, works for me is like I said, on top of like a shepherd's pie, you know, something along like that. But it's already a bit, you know, it's a bit crispier. But just proper, just mashed potato by itself is just grim. Cheese. Cheese? <laughs> Bangers and mash. Hmm. No, you guys are not convincing me. It's not, it's not doing it for me. No, I just, I just don't think, just don't think it's going to happen. The best form of potato is roast potato. Mash, it's, it, it's, it's, it's irrelevant. When someone makes a good roast potato, you know, there's, there's nothing... Well, it's not, you can't compare it. A good roast potato and good mash. There's no comparison there. I'm sorry. You can't. You can't. You can't convince me. Petition of Pan Ember. <laughs> We've been trying for years, but he won't go away. <laughs> All right. In. That in use. Uh, I think we're pretty much ready to head out. Just grab all those again so we have a little bit more storage space. All right. Dump a few supplies. Top up a fuel. Right. Okay. Let's go to this automated shipyard, shall we? We have a thousand machinery, four thousand ship components. Oh. Uh, just chuck some of that away. Da, 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 da. Sake. Three of that. There we go. Right. Top of supplies. Let's go. We'll take a save here as well. Just, just for safety. 
Got banned me, it's like delete the channel. Yeah, well you don't know Ember, you're actually gonna be uploading the content soon. That's actually um is actually what's gonna be happening here. Is you you're actually gonna be doing all the uploading soon, as is the rate it's going at the moment. Uh <laughs> aren't you guys glad that I didn't stream on Tuesday now? I was I was so ready to have this debate about mashed potato on Tuesday. And then Twitch died. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe that is what happened. Maybe Twitch knew that I was going to come out and start disrespecting MASH. And that was it. Uh, I'll tell you what, actually. Ah, oh, fuck it. We'll just keep going. I was going to do a restart, but fuck it. I want to get this, like, finished up. Like, this, I want to get the automated shipyard done. And I can't be asked to sit here and restart the game. I'll just put Streamlabs in performance mode, which did nothing. Tell Rob you're acting up. <laughs> nah, I think Rob agrees with me. Hang on, let me, let me go find him. <laughs> we turned on the other side of the fucking door. <laughs> Mashed potato, is it good or bad? Oh, you'll f get out. <laughs> get out. No. No, get out. Not having it. Mashed potato is awful. Shut the door on your way out. Bitch. <laughs> Looks like... <laughs> fucking stupid storm. No, it's not me. He's the problem. He's got to go. <laughs> He's got to go. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I think mean, that's, that's all that that's, that's all that conversation's proved. I think it's time for me to move on. As far as six year relationship down the down the fucking hole for uh, the fact that you know someone likes mashed potato. I'm I'm willing to do it. Uh <laughs> it's not war when only runs wrong. Hey, look, the problem is right. Uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, I'm kind of in charge here. So, uh, my opinion overrules everything that you say. <laughs> All right, let's take a quick save here, though, before, uh, before we do this. Let's rebuild the automated shipyard. Uh, okay. Fucking Jesus, we're losing so many supplies. Right. Restore machine to function. Uh, da, 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 da. As your crew chants the last verses, inscribe prayers. Massive multi-segmented arms unfold from the altar like walls and slowly begin transferring the offerings into a multitude of openings formed by the emergence. Uh, red flames erupt uh, long dead. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't care. Let's just see what happens. I need more fucking components? Son of a bitch! Uh, okay, well, let's just, like, sacrifice, like, all of these crappy ships that I don't need anymore, right? We'll just... There we go. We'll get rid of those four. We'll get rid of the four, like, freighters and two atlases. Yeah! Oh. Did that... <laughs> okay, that didn't... That didn't give us any components. Okay. All right. Okay, so now we need to go kill some remnants, I guess. So I'll be right back. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Uh, what ship? Oh, yeah, I do have some. I do have a few combat ships. Right, let's just fucking scrap all these things now. We don't actually need these pile of shit. Get rid of them all. Don't want them. We'll scrap one of the atlases. We'll keep that one because it's in good condition. There we go. Right, let's go and... Uh, Where's the nearest warning beacon? You know, I try and do things, and, you know, none of you guys ever warned me that. You know, ah, oh, right, you should have brought some relic components, because turns out you actually need them to do, to build ships. Didn't see any of you messaging that. <laughs> the only thing I saw was you talking about how much you like mashed potato and how wrong you are. That's the only thing I saw. <laughs> uh, Uh, yeah, all right. Let's.
let's uh let's have a little look in here. Oh cool, there's an artificial world in here. Mate, they're cool as fuck, the artificial worlds. Do a little survey. Nice. Uh right, there is nothing in the system, though, is there no? Uh, I really don't, I really don't like, like, I don't think, I can't think off the top of my head there's something I really don't like, size from mashed potato. That's the only thing I really dislike. Uh, I can understand someone not liking snails, but mashed potato. I, I, I've never had a snail, so I can't comment on that. I'm a no comment on that, but I couldn't imagine they taste nice. Only the French would eat a fucking creature that's ridden with parasites. Probably just because, you know, <laughs> that just sums up the French quite well, doesn't it? But, um, yeah. Okay, I really need to reload this game, don't I? Let's take a save and uh, have a have a little reload here, because it's uh, crying a little bit. Uh, right. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab a drink whilst that loads up. One second. Okay, I'm back. Let's get these relic components and utilize this bullshit. Oh, dear. Uh, right. Uh, I should probably just head to a known warning beacon, shouldn't I? But that is... Bear effort. Let's just find another one out here. <laughs> Fucking storms. Mm, yeah, I really should have like <laughs> I never said your name No <laughs> Huh? It's going fine. Thanks for asking <laughs> Streams going okay, you know, I'm just you know having a few disagreements I'm nervous. Sound nervous yeah. I'm nervous can I, can I please continue streaming in peace? <laughs> please leave me alone. I'm trying to prove to everybody that I'm amazing at Star Sector. Oh, fuck off. Mashed potato is horrible. Don't bring that debate back up. Ah. <sighs> Did you burn up? Did you ban the word French? <laughs> really? <laughs> For fuck's sake. I think that's like one of the only banned words because I changed uh, Twitch's settings. So, like, because I used to have it like really sensitive, so it would ban like every like piece of, piece of vanity. For some reason and then i think there's literally like only five words that's banned now which i'm guessing you can all you know use your minds and you know use your brains and think what those words are but yeah one of them i think one of them was french and the other one was like margaret thatcher or something wasn't it i think thatcher was one of the bad words and then the other three are um yeah Yeah, yes. 
That's, that's a good way of describing them. Uh, right. Okay, this is looking good. We might find some radic components here. Or fly into a star. That also works. Oh, I forgot about the AI inspection. Oh, no, I've already, I, I already, I, I've already allocated funds for that. Don't worry. Your boy's already ahead of the game. Uh, right, okay. What do we got here? I oh, got a probe. Uh, we can kill some automated defense. Why not? We can give the old, uh, we give the old fancy onslaught a little spin. Uh, right. Wow. Why the hell is this, uh, I'm not sure why it's super laggy like this, but that's okay. That's fine. We just have to kill some ships to gain some frames back. There we go. Look at that. Sort itself out straight away. Actually, I'll tell you what's probably doing it. Let's close that. There we are. Who the fuck? Clo <laughs> close down Chrome and suddenly everything's okay. <laughs> It is pretty much every time it usually is just just close down chrome Ah oh. This thing is just this thing's glorious. I love this high-tech dacker that I have All right, do we get okay, we got two relic components from that Okay, that's not quite the uh, big find I was hoping we were gonna get but you know I'll roll with it There's a missile station here. Oh, okay, it's not really worth taking on. Let's take on the. Let's kill. Let's fight the missile station, shall we? This, 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 this can't be too difficult. All right, boys, just linger on me for the moment. Yeet. Oh fucking Christ! Okay, maybe we shouldn't cavalry charge straight. Oh God, I forgot about this. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's the claw fighters. They have a ridiculous amount of them, don't they? Nah, it can't be too hard to take out one of these artillery stations. I think we fought them before. We should be all right. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
All right, get in here, boys. Let's do this. Cavalry charge. Okay, maybe that's not a good idea because you can't. Okay, it stopped just before. Fine. Thank God for that. Shoot it. Shoot the crap out of the station. I think we're winning. Uh, can you, like, actually kill the two ships here and there, please? I don't think that was really a brilliant idea, but you know. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, go go and kill go kill those. Go kill them. Go on. We're, we're taking some big damage here. Turns out cavalry charging straight into the enemy was not the smartest of ideas. But the station is almost dead. There we go. See, I, I actually wasn't... I wasn't nervous at all then. That was... Uh, oh my god, what the f fucking... The mothership as well. Jesus. Yeah, I wasn't actually nervous at all. Like, that was actually all planned. Cap charge is never a bad idea. <laughs> exactly. It was actually... It was all planned... Uh, it would probably help if I was actually hitting my shots. What I have now is I don't actually have any armor. Uh, uh. Alright, let's just fuck it. Let's just go for a vent. We have like 14,000 health. Oh, God. Oh, what am I. What? Oh, my ships just got annihilated. That's okay. Let's just take these out. We can probably bring in a little bit of backup. Let's bring the laser boy in. He'll finish up all this. Oh, God, it's this little ship. Uh, laser boy, get over it. Help. Send help. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> My boy. Hmm. Uh, okay, let's just switch out to the laser boy. <laughs> God, you're bad at this game. Shut up. I'm not bad at this game. We uh, we had a few tactical errors made there. It's fine. We have... Uh, we have our backup, which is the big laser boy. Nothing ever goes wrong with this ship. Because we can get right behind... We can get behind this mothership... And uh, they ain't going to have a chance. We'll take his engines out. Come on. Come on. Just got to stay behind this ship and we'll be okay. Get that Archimedic guy and hopefully he can disable his engines. Come on. Okay, he's got a flame out now. Happy days. Where's my where's my Mora? Mora, go over here. Get rid of that stupid thing. You want a cavalry shot? <laughs> How do you lose it? It's not... I lost. I, I'm clearly winning. There you go. Mothership destroyed. We took a... I admit, we took a few casualties there. But we got our 100 relic components. That's what we need. There we go. Right, let's go back to the automated shipyard now.
and uh, see what it pumps out for us. Ugh. Right. Hi ho, hi ho. Off we go to find. Oh, off we go to use automated shill, uh, shipyard. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? Why? Stop draining me. <laughs> you kinky b <laughs> I was not like who that is chasing me as well. That's not cool. Alright, there's a million there at least. See, that's fine. It's going to cost me a bunch to, you know, repair these ships. But it's okay. Because I make like 1.2 million a month. So everything is fine. Uh, no, I have no idea what I do. I, ju I just, I just let him do it. <laughs> I just let it happen. It's, yeah, I, I, I just, it, you know, that's what, that's what I do. Yeah. All right. Ping them back, you bad. All right, well, chill. Okay, chill, chill. Jesus Christ. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Moment of truth. We have the Reddit components. We are ready to use the automated shipyard and see what it actually gives us. Here we go. Now, because it's next to Star, we have to bloody emergency burn there. Uh Okay. Uh start the machine. You're offering her okay, so I'll play da 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 Who prepared for the ancient rites of activation, that's the chant. Uh la da 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 hang on, hang on, da, da. okay. Your offering has been deemed insignificant What? What? What the fuck? They gave me nothing. You son of a bitch. You gave it right away. Well, you didn't tell me that. You just. Oh, you got you fucking. Right, let's go home. Go home. You never said anything about giving ships and Reddit components. I none of you said. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I'm I'm taking out advice. I'm reloading. Save. Fuck that. I I I I ain't having that bullshit. Right. Okay. Sacrifice it. What, what do you want to sacrifice? What should we sacrifice? Should we sacrifice the onslaught? Right? Should we sacrifice the big the big boy ship? All of it? Let's sacrifice everything which doesn't have a we don't have personal attachment to. There you go. We'll get rid of the bisons as well. We'll we'll, we'll get rid of like everything. All of your fleet. I'm not getting rid of everything. Do it. Do it. Do it. I mean, <laughs> fine. We'll get rid of everything. It's probably going to kick me out because it'll say that I don't have a. Uh, it's going to kick. It'll probably kick me out because it's going to be like, oh, you haven't got any ships. Oh my god. <laughs> A dread wagon? What the fuck is this? 
Um, all right, well, there goes my entire fleet. For whatever the fuck this thing is. Is this what I always want to ships where you can build different sections on? <laughs> what? I mean... Okay, new ship, new me. All right, was that worth a whole load of S modded ships and uh, other cool components? Probably not. Uh, we now need to like ditch all that metal. Let's get out of here. Oh, God's sake. Right, let's go home. You know, we got rid of like four story points or five story points of ships. And millions and millions. And we got a single dread ship. Yes, I know. It, it, I know I said these things are terrible. I don't believe you. You're there saying the ship's good, but I don't believe you. All I see is a big scrap of metal. <laughs> hey, it does have like, you know, quite fast burn though. I don't think it actually has a shield, does it? I don't know. Well, that's fine. It's not gonna. It's not. It doesn't matter about you know how much it costs to use because we don't have any f other fucking ships. Because everyone just suddenly decided that I should sacrifice the entire fleet. <laughs> and I was stupid enough to listen. content <laughs> right okay let's uh just go here dump all of this right boom so we've got two thermal pulse cannons in the center right not bad I'll, I'll take that right this bay let's have a look so we've got fire bay here we'll stick uh I feel like we should just go with the meme that we are running off. Uh, uh, what does it recommend? So standard, you got missiles. Missiles probably wouldn't be a bad idea. But then again, we also just like DACA, don't we? Everyone loves DACA. So this has a re retrofitted senators, which basically... Uh, okay, cool. makes weapons more expensive but it makes things slightly better it seems right uh reclaimed advanced targeting core cool exchange the range of ballistic energy by 90 percent fucking hell uh everything has heavy armor as well we don't need converted hangar in there Or do we just stick with converted hangar base everywhere? <laughs> okay, what does the ship recommend building like that? <laughs> yeah, let's just see what the auto build, build says. Holy shit me. I mean, I don't know what just happened, but the gun, the thing just went very fast. Let's just try that again. <laughs> uh, let's one, one more time. So I can, so it chucks mines down. And then things can shoot very fast. Oh my god. 
Missile fire rate, 200% increase. Holy shit. Okay, all right. Well, it looks like we're going to have to spend some time rebuilding, like actually kitting this out to something. So yeah, as the accelerated ammo feed there, what does this side have? This side has uh, mine strike. This side has fast missile racks, fast missile racks. And then we have the system overdrive, which increased weapons fire rate, ship speed, and reduces ballistic flux consumption at the cost of extreme electro flux malfunctions and weapon damage when the system is through and an inability to strive while active. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just I just don't know. I really don't know, to be honest. I that's, that's all I've got to say is I just don't know. Let's strip it down, right? Let's build in that automatic let's build in the automatic drive field, right? That saves us 40 points there. We can replace that with... Oh, can we get another integrated targeting call? So we can have an advanced target... Okay, no. No, we can't. Um, dedicated targeting call? No. Okay, so first thing you probably want to do is... Uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to need expanded magazines for its cannons. We can lower that all the way down to just above the weapon flux because, well, we don't need to vent we're fine we don't really need it anyway because we don't have a luck we don't have a shield um i did put everything in i literally put everything that i owned into that bloody thing um i don't even know load overdrive that's a Good, good point, but I don't think... Do I have it? I don't think I do. I don't think the VIC was enabled. Yeah, no, we, we, we've established this uh, last stream, didn't we? I don't think I have it. Because the VIC isn't in this run. <laughs> Efficiency overhaul? Just make things a little cheaper? Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. All right. The, the thing that really annoys me about this is all the slots are just everywhere. Right? There's the, There should be two large slots here. Not the large one here. And it's just... Ah. Uh, disgusting. I, I just... I guess we just built, like... Um... If we say this side is for, like, anti-hole, right? If we just go for a load of hole busters. Couple of hole busters there. I guess we just have a flak bit there. Uh, <laughs> you get small hole bust busters as well. We could have the whole of the center bit just dedicated to hole busting. This side can then be dedicated to anti-shield and that bit to anti-armor, right? Wouldn't that be a classy idea? Because I don't really know what to put here. On these tiny slots. Fuck it, let's just put a couple of rail guns there for a moment. Hang on. But this this thing's just mad. <laughs> we just need we just need DACA, right? It's I, I think I think fuck the whole busters actually. We just need raw DACA. Actually, that whole bus is pretty good, actually. All right, we'll keep it on this side. We'll keep we'll keep the sniper sort of stuff here, actually. Fuck it. There you go. But the rest is just going to be raw DACA. Uh, I mean, I, I think that's just a pretty good design now already, right? Just a load of... Uh, just a load of firepower. And then there. I don't know. I'm not sure about the lance. I feel like that's an interesting one. Maybe we need... Maybe like a... 
like a storm needle or something or just another cannon something like uh something like that uh that can just 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 shut down vents for a second here we have project silk PD. PD sounds like it's for bitches. We don't need point defense on this thing. We've got a few flat guns and that will do the trick, right? We're going to go with that. Uh, Maybe just like a, like a heavy mauler here. I, I, I'll be honest. I, I, if it's not... <laughs> if it's not obvious, I have no idea what to build here. We'll get a couple of salamanders on this side. Salamander is just to completely fuck people up so they can't get away from me. That looks like it's got talent interceptors there. Twitch is broken. Kick me out. Why is it? <laughs> Why is it kicked you out of mod? What did you do? It means we don't need expanded missile racks there. Let's see how this ship functions. Now that everything seems to be working again. Whoa, there's a lot of pirate ships here. Holy Jesus. Okay. Hey, pirates. I, oh my god, this thing costs 100 deployment points? Oh my god. Uh, okay. I don't have any friends. That's... <laughs> I... I ain't gonna have any friends for this battle. <laughs> I should have probably gone for the comms relay was a little bit closer. Because my burn speed of 54 isn't quite cutting it. <laughs> hey, look, at least we managed to kill a couple of spades. <laughs> they said I was mad. And then I brought out three shields. <laughs> oh my god, this thing has a speed of 14. <laughs> they said I was a madman. I will prove them all wrong. <laughs> they can't handle the Daka. No, this isn't the locomotive. This is like the locomotive's little brother, it seems. Okay, at least we can kind of have this comms relay. At least we're going to have like... At least we can get like, you know, a ally in here. <laughs> it's been fucking ridiculous. <laughs> what even is this? <laughs> like fucking <laughs> right let's get them boys system override let's fuck them up uh, okay we've got ourselves a little bit out of position here uh, that's okay it's turning we're turning at two speed what the fuck <laughs> two um Have bird drives? I don't know. I mean, there we go. We've got we've got the engines back online now. We got fourteen, but we got fourteen speed again. Wait, these pirates don't even know what's hitting them. There's just debris everywhere from all of their dead friends. They have not understood what the true power of Dakar is. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. I 
I don't think we can put safety. I mean, it's it's spec is system override, so you know technically that kind of counts. <laughs> oh my god! Be gone, for you shall be vanquished if you come anywhere near me. And if you think you can damage me, I'll hit you with the triple shield maneuver. <laughs> it's actually a brilliant invention because the idea is each shield can take a hit, you know, overlaps each other. So it spreads the damage out between three different generators, right? It's an ingenious idea. Yeah, now it gives me time to vent whilst the shields are still up on the other two. Yeah. Why I bust out the locomotive soon. <laughs> Mate, the pirates are scared. They are running. They are running for the hills, aren't they? It's just... <laughs> the fight is over. They have been, like, defeated. Be gone! For you cannot handle... My ship. Okay, here we go. This is going to be a bit more interesting, actually. Because you're going to have 100 combat readiness as well. I think that's what... I think that's what does it. I think 100% combat readiness means your shots, like, never miss. So. It's, uh, it's pretty good, right? All right, let's set that up to auto there. Oh, fuck, it actually system override. Why would you do that? Why is... Oh, for fuck's sake. It's not a burn drive, you stupid AI. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're probably just sat there thinking, what sort of mad fucker is flying that piece of garbage? And then they realize it's me. And then they get scared. Because there's nothing more unpredictable than an idiot. You never know what he's going to do. <laughs> Here we go. Hello, buddy. Here's an unbelievable amount of DACA. <laughs> uh, just takes a little while just to get around. Jesus Christ. Hello. It is a truly glorious ship. That's all you need to know. It's the triple shield, high dacker, pimp slapper, pussy grappler. I don't know, but it fucking destroys everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this thing is unbelievable. Uh, you become a financial investment for the pirates, a fucking businessman. You offer an entire faction a low level scrubs a fucking future. How can you suck so much? What? Oh, I might have. Uh, we got a mule creeping up on us, but it's fine. It's okay. The mule might be creeping, but we have the unbelievable on. I think I should replace all the piranha bombers with like. I think we should go for like the Talon Interceptor meme. Uh, I mean, kind of. It's big red button is flying towards the enemy like this with system override and increasing your guns 
fire rate by 250%. <laughs> and then causing all your own guns to break. And giving yourself a flame out. That's kind of the uh, downside here. Yeah, I think we've won. Easy clap. More pirates dead. Right. Let's... Uh, we don't need any of that. Fuck it. I don't care. I don't need it. Let's go kill the station. Pirate station. It's time to die. And we actually get to deploy all three ships. Yeah, I think the Piranha Bombers need to go. I think just five sets of Talon Interceptor drones would be a great meme. Just because it's just that crappy spam. Maybe this can be re replaced as the ultimate siege boy. Also, I want to point out how we, on this ship though, we do have... Was that one? Uh, yeah, one... Two, three, four, five sets of salamander missiles. <laughs> so that means one ship will get hit by t with, with uh, 10 salamander missiles. That is glorious. They shall not have any engines. Mostly because I don't have one either. Anyone notice how there was a station there? Because I didn't notice the station. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah. Well, all in all, I think we can say that that was entirely worth it. Sacrificing my entire high-tech navy... For this uh, glorious machine was definitely worth it. It's not actually awful. <laughs> it's not terrible. I think it's just like on paper it looks terrible, but I think all like the weapon upgrades just kind of make it a bit more, you know, actually makes it somewhat decent. Right, let's actually stick another hole buster on there. These bits at the back should probably be flak, right? Not thumpers. But I don't think it can afford flak. No. Okay. Heavy machine guns on the back. Uh, but yeah, let's change all these piranha bombers out. Oh, could, we could have a jackhammer modified heavy wing. Hell yeah. Let's stick that there. And two talent interceptor drones. Here we go. This thing's now ready, right? Oh, hang on. No, we've only got a small chunk of the ship. We want that bit. <laughs> we kind of want the whole ship. All right. So we now have, yeah, four sets of talent intercept drones and then a jackhammer class super wing thing. I don't think they're even going to be able to do do anything, are they? No, I didn't even get in, <laughs> didn't even get in range. Alright. Alright, a bit more of a beefier target. Oh, mate. Don't even stand a chance. Doesn't even stand a chance. Right, let's go for... Uh, let's go for a real Paragon, not like the, not the fucking scrap. Uh, it, it, it costs... Uh, costs... Costs a costs hundred. A hundred. Go! 
System override. He knows once we get through his shields, he's fucked. Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's good. I don't know what else we could fight. Like, one-on-one, -on -one, I think it's going to beat any ship, right? I think we can all agree, one-on-one, -on -one, this thing will murder anything. But because it costs 100, you're kind of fighting, like, the entire enemy fleet by yourself. Also, these hull busters are just insane. You know, any ship, it just, nothing compares to it. Yeah, we could try and fight some ship. Like, let's, let's throw in, like, I don't know. Let's just throw in uh, like a whole 180, shall we? Just random ships. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. Uh, radium with five. Okay, maybe a radium with five pulses. Auto pulses could maybe do it. Great thing is, I only have to control, like, two guns. The rest of the ship just does so much. Look at all the firepower coming out of this thing. System override. Go fire all cannons. Let's try and actually get myself surrounded and see how well it copes being surrounded. Speed the game up a little bit. I mean... <laughs> I think the AI is generally so terrified of it. The AI just won't attack me like it doesn't swarm me like it should because i guess it's just got so many fucking guns <laughs> ah well the greatest <laughs> moral of the story this ship is ridiculous that is that's pretty much i think all we can say here Uh, a horror story whispered on the fringe ports is a nightmarish tale of an entity discarded as a faction of Tritech uh, disregarded as a fiction by Tritech commanders, hedgery officers, and church delegates. It's rumored to, rumors are to believe outer core mercenary companies have had engagements with these gigantic vessels. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Basically, this ship is a rumor or a myth, but turns out it's real. I can say. Anyway, everybody, I think I'll call it here anyway for today. I think we're uh, I think we've achieved good stuff. I made I made the myth real by bringing this beast out. <laughs>